Now, if you're thinking, Kayla, I'm not able to do a push-up on my toes just yet, drop down, do the push-up on your knees, come up onto your toes and do the rotation on your toes. Hi everyone, so today we are doing a follow along workout. Now you only need the space of your own mat and towel if you have kids sleeping. If you're in an apartment, don't worry, there is no jumping, we can be super quiet. So we're gonna start straight away. Each exercise goes for 30 seconds. There are six exercises and we're doing two rounds. Now I've broken this up a little bit. So it goes legs, arms, abs, legs, arms, abs. So you're not doing anything for too long and you're not too sore. Okay, so the first exercise is a sumo squat. I'm about to start a timer. Each exercise again goes for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, follow along with me and we're doing sumo squats. So your feet are out nice and wide. Feet pointing out. Now, when a trainer says, make sure your knees are over your toes, they don't mean knees over your toes. You keep going, I'm talking. They don't mean over your toes, they mean in line with your toes. So keep your knees in line with your toes, wherever your feet are pointing. Core on, chest up. You've got seven seconds, five more seconds. Get down nice and low. Squeeze on the way up. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna get into a push up, and then we're gonna do a side rotation. So push up and side rotation. Now, if you're thinking, Kayla, I'm not able to do a push up on my toes just yet, drop down, do the push up on your knees, come up onto your toes and do the rotation on your toes. Drop down onto your knees and do the rotation on your toes. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and we're moving into a bent leg raise. So. The reason my head is up, you can have your head down like this. The reason my head is up, because I like to press my lower back into the ground. I do say this a lot. So I lift my head up to press my lower back into the floor. Legs out, knees in. Really focus on that core. Seven seconds. Keep going. And we're up into a reverse lunge and knee up. So. Let's do a few per side, so maybe five per side. We can alternate. Totally up to you. Sorry, if you haven't seen me, I've changed sides. Good, keep it going. Get that knee up, drive it up. Four, three, two, one, down on the ground. So, in a high plank position, just hold this, and you're gonna transfer your weight to your right hand, place your hand behind your back, and the same on the other side. Now, if this seems super difficult, you can drop down to your knees, but really slow and controlled. Keep that core on, press away from the floor. Good, three, two, one, moving into ab bikes. Now the key with ab bikes is you want to rotate at your torso, touching your elbow to your opposite knee. Strong rotation. So think about strong rotation. Really get that elbow to your opposite knee. 10 seconds. Keep going. We're going back into sumo squats. Three, two, one, round two. So this workout is great because it is under seven minutes, six minutes, and you can do it anywhere. If you're on a lunch break at the moment, 10 seconds. Hit that back straight, core on. Four, three, two, one. Back into that push up and rotate. Push up and open up and rotate. Now, if you don't want to do the push up on your toes or you're finding it difficult, again, you can drop down to your knees, then come up onto your toes and do that rotation. Down onto your knees, up onto your toes and do that rotation. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and moving into that bent leg raise again. So again, my head is up. You can place your head down Really focus on that core. Now, the higher you bring your legs, the easier obviously it is. The lower you bring your legs down, the harder it becomes. So think about that. 
Good, you've got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back to that reverse lunge and knee up. Now, when you're doing a reverse lunge, you guys keep going, just pay attention here really quickly. When you're doing a reverse lunge, make sure that you are stepping shoulder width apart. You're not stepping one foot in front of the other because you'll lose balance. Keep going, drive that knee up and make sure you swap legs in between as well. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Back into that high plank and that transfer of weight. Try not to rock your hips side to side. You're not moving from side to side. You're keeping that high plank position. Hand behind your back. Slow and controlled through this one. Take your time. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six. You've got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And we've got ab bikes. Strong rotation. Keep going. Really push. Get that elbow to your opposite knee. Push those legs out. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. And that is six minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this follow along workout that you can do anytime, anywhere. Make sure you stretch, make sure you hydrate. If you love workouts like these, then you can check out my zero equipment program in the sweat app.